Hey guys, what's up? MTG or an Thought here coming to you with another deck tech. Um today I will be doing my um uh, probably my more fun decks that I uh, have building and playing. Um this deck is a waste not deck. Um it's all about getting waste not on the field, pitching your opponent's hands and just smashing their face. Um whether it be with your creatures or with creature or with zombies um so we'll just go straight into the deck um i'm gonna start off with the land base we run uh 20 lands um we run four bloodstained mire and four polluted delta now this deck is a mono black deck there is no splashing of any color the running fetches just so that um running the fetches helps thin your deck so that you're not drawing into the lands and people may think why not run evolving wilds because having your lands come in untapped is very relevant in this deck cuz it is aggro like try to do it as fast as you can cuz if you don't pitch their hand as fast as you can it'll give them a chance to come back and beat you. So that's why you do not want that to happen at all. Um, so, and we're not worried about the loss of life because we do have uh, ways to gain that life. And also, um, <laughs> you do a lot of damage to yourself, but we do have the life gain in here. Um, with the eight fetch lands, we have 12 swamps. So for a total of 20 lands, um, I was running 22 at one point, but, um, you just drew into lands whenever you didn't want to see them. So that's why we only run 20 now. So now we're going to go into the whole waste not part of the deck. Of course, we're going to run four waste not because it is our primary part of the deck. Um, it's revolved around him. I mean, you, there are other ways to win, but it's re if you have a turn two waste knot, you always throw down waste knot. Um, with the waste knot spells, we have um other discard spells, thought seizes, and I will all if I have a thought seize in my hand and a waste knot in hand, I will always play thought seize turn one, just to get rid of their early game threats. Um. Even if I don't have Waste Knot, I will play my discard spells such as Mind Rots, Rockshaw's Secret, and Black Cats. I will still play those even if I do not have my Waste Knots out, just because um, you want to get rid of your opponent's hand, uh, whether or not you have the Waste Knot out or not, because... You don't have a lot of answers to Planeswalkers. Like, we do not run Heroes Downfall on this deck. So you want to make sure that they discard all of their bombs in their hand. Um, now, Mind Rod is obvious pick. Um, it's probably one of our best, uh, better uh, discard spells. Because it's 3-drop, they discard 2. End of story. Some people do not like Rakshasa's Secret, but it actually helps with our delve as we have a murderous, mur four of murderous cut main board, and um, it comes very relevant. It's very relevant to have the two cards in your um, graveyard. And then lastly, Black Cat. Um, a lot of people think Black Cat is bad. Um, I personally like it for the fact that um, it's a body that people don't like to swing into and people will also not like to block it so if it comes down to it you can swing in for um swing in with it but typically it's just a blocker um people do not like um discarding random cards because that's why it's good it says discard a card at random um so black cat pretty good uh...
Next up, we have our filler, like, cards to make, waste not, not a dead card. Um, cards that fill up your opponent's hands so that you can make them discard cards. So, Sign in Blood, um, the good thing about it is it's target players, so you can target yourself if you need to, or target your opponent if you want to. If you have a dead Mind Rot in hand, you can make them draw two and then pitch them to Mind Rot with your Waste Knot on the field. Um, but typically I do use this on myself because drawing two for two is very good in this deck. You want to keep your hand pretty full at most times. But yes, uh, it does fill up your opponent's hand so that your Waste Knots and your discard spells are not dead. Also, we run a four of Master of Feasts because if it's not, um, you don't really care if they're drawing the cards at your upkeep because typically you'll have the Mine Rots. So if they're drawing into Planeswalkers, Lands, or Sorcery, they can't play them on your turn. So you just discard, um, make them discard it with whatever you have. Um, but it's also a five five for three with flying, so it's hard to block. It's big. It's hard to kill. Um, so it does finish off the games. Um, then we have our removal spells. We have four of murderous cuts. Um, again, with Delph, you, um, a lot of, a lot of the spells that you play are instants and sorceries. So your, uh, graveyard will be full, uh, and just using this to, uh, to your advantage, um, Sorry, I've got some icky stuff on it, but it uh, helps. Um, it's a really good, it's always, you. okay, sorry, I'm trying to talk, but um, you're always able to cast it for one mana, destroy target creature. That's how, how I always, I'm always able to murder his cut for one. And sometimes I'll even uh, target my black cat so that they'll have to also discard a card. And then two for Eka's Cure. Um, the aggro decks that are really quick and get out fast are what um, are best against this deck. So Farika's Cure helps with that. Um, it not only is it killing their low drop creatures, but it's also allowing you to gain life, especially since you're taking a lot of damage yourself. Lastly, we have our finisher spells. Um, we have a four of Grey Merchant, because... Um, Grey Merchant's really good. It's a life gain, and you do have a lot of double black here, and then you'll also have double black here as well with our whips. Whips um, can help bring back Master of the Master of the Feasts, and also it um, gains you life, and you need to gain life if you're going to keep taking all this pain. Um, if you guys want to tamper with this deck a little bit, I would like maybe um, put in one or two islands into the main board. And then you could also add in treasure crews uh, so that you can keep your hand full because that'd be pretty cool because you do have a lot of cards in your grave at all times. But that's basically all I've seen wrong with this deck. Um, now we'll go on to our sideboard. Um, the sideboard is a transitional sideboard. Every time I sideboard, I typically sideboard the whole 15 cards out of my, um, I put in four, uh, th sorry, not four, three Herald of Torment, four, four Blood Soak Champion, four Gnarled Scarhide, and then four Tormented, uh, Torment Hero, Tormented Hero. Um, it is transitional, it goes from the, um, It goes from waste not to um, aggro, uh, just full on aggro, and typically they'll sideboard and stuff to get rid of um, waste not stuff like that, and they just become dead because we've brought in all these creatures and they don't see many creatures mainboard. So when you bring in these fifteen, I typically take out three cats, four rakshasa, four mind rot. And four waste not, and that's the fifteen cards that I take out and turn this into a transitional.
Well, that's the deck tech. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I do have a lot of fun with this deck, and I hope you guys can go out and have fun with it as well. So, you guys, hope you had a magic, magic holiday. And I hope to see you around as far as making more videos go. Good night. Or, it's afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Bye-bye.